Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And so today I am going to be talking about the potential CM Punk return to WWE Survivor Series. Um, so this has been going on for a, uh, about a month now, about the actually maybe even longer than that, the potential return of CM Punk to WWE. And as you guys know, I'm obviously a big CM Punk fan if you guys have been watching the channel. I mean, if you guys see my thumbnail, or not my thumbnail, my photo of my avatar has the CM Punk hat uh, for a reason. Um... Anyways, everybody knows that knows me, I am a big CM Punk fan. So, because I am a big CM Punk fan, um, it would just be easy for me to say 100% CM Punk is coming back at Survivor Series and he's going to make a secret uh, entrance or a secret appearance or whatever. Um, and believe me, I've been... <laughs> Y'all got me... A, a few weeks ago on punk and I've been kind of with you, you know, on it because I'm a punk fan and I want him to come back. So I want to be wrong that he isn't coming back and that he will be there. But that's my fandom ism side of me that wants him to come back. And now the business side of me really is kind of iffy on whether he's coming back or not. Trust me, if he comes back, I'm going to be happy. I was absolutely stoked when he came back for AEW. When he returned to wrestling and he joined AEW, I didn't care it was AEW. I didn't give a damn it was AEW. I was a CM Punk fan. It's just like this whole thing when um this whole, uh, with this whole thing with Edge, you know, and I made that passionate video about Edge, you know, this whole thing, uh, about, you know, Edge leaving for AEW and people called him a traitor. I was like, why are you calling him a traitor for continuing to wrestle? You, if you're a real fan of Edge, you should care about him still being on TV and still wrestling. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't care that he's with a different company. Okay. If you're a real Edge fan. You know, which I don't view the people that are calling Edge a traitor a fucking real Edge fan. Um, but my whole thing with CM Punk is, like I said, wherever Punk goes, I'm going to follow. Because I am a Punk fan. You know, WWE is a platform. WWE is a company. It is the biggest wrestling company in the world. But at the same time, it is a brand. You can go and to other brand wrestlings and support a wrestler. Daniel Bryan goes to AEW. When Sting was in WCW, you know, people that continued to watch Sting in TNA were loyal Sting fans. You know what I'm saying? They were real Sting fans. You know, he didn't go to WWE, you know, until like 2014 or whatever it was. Um, you know, those were real Sting fans, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I just don't understand that whole line of thinking that it's like, oh, well, you have to be in WWE or whatever, you know, for you to be a fan of that person, which I think is just really stupid. But anyways, that's getting a little off topic, though. But my point being is, no matter where Punk was, I was going to cheer for him. Because I'm a Punk fan. I'm a legitimate CM Punk fan. Ever since he debuted on ECW all those years ago in the WWE on that ECW brand. You know, I have been a fan of him. You know, the, the character that he played. You know, his real life lifestyle. And then, of course, obviously, he's a great wrestler. You know, um, excuse me. So I've always been a fan of CM Punk and his work and what he does in the ring. 
Uh, I've literally seen the rise of CM Punk when he was in WWE from the mid-carder to the world champion to the main event uh, against Cena, uh, Cena when he won that when he won the WWE championship for the first time. Uh, we've been there. The ECW champion, too. I forgot about that. But you know what I mean. Um, you know, so if he shows up at Survivor Series and returns, obviously it will be stoked. I'm going to be marking the hell out of it. I don't care. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I'll fanboy out of that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I hate the whole Mark thing because most people that watch wrestling are a mark for somebody uh, in this day and age. I mean, I don't know how you aren't at this point. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, if, if, if it happens, but I, I also want to be cautious about if he's coming back or not. Now, as we all know, Monday Night Raw, they announced that Randy Orton is the fifth person, which pretty much, you know, specifically was done to take away the blow from CM Punk, possibly from the Chicago crowd, expecting him to be the guy. Uh, and not booing Randy Orton. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean, though, that CM Punk isn't coming back um, to Survivor Series in Chicago. Uh, a couple scenarios. CM Punk could come out at the end of War Games after the, the match is over, you know, um, and make his return that way. Um, there's that scenario, and there's also the other scenario, and that's this whole Shinsuke Nakamura thing that everyone has been obviously talking about. What is Shinsuke referring to in all these promotes that he's doing? He has teased Punk in some of these promotes that he has said in these vignettes, and he has also done a GTS back-to-back -back weeks. Also, there's obviously been mentioned uh, to Punk indirectly multiple times from other wrestlers, even before Shinsuke started doing his vignettes. I think the reason for that is because I think the original plan was for him to be in War Games. Uh, that's why I think Seth and uh, Rhea Ripley mentioned uh, him because they they it's, uh, because there were Seth, Rhea Ripley. I'm trying to remember who else referenced him. Uh, referenced him. Um, and I think the original plan was maybe if Punk is coming back, I think the original plan might have been for him to be in War Games, but then they scrapped it for Orton and decided to do the Shinsuke thing, because then all of a sudden we started Shinsuke seeing Shinsuke do vignettes and GTSs, and so that's why we're seeing majority of the time Shinsuke doing the stuff mentioning Punk now. Um, so now Shinsuke isn't in a match at Survivor Series, so I think it's going to be an open challenge. They haven't formally announced it yet, but it might just be kind of a thing where Shinsuke just comes out and wants to do an open challenge or something like that. I don't know. That could be one setup that they're going to try and do is that they're going to try to make uh, Shinsuke come out, uh, or Shinsuke will come out uh, and announced that he wants this person or something like that, um, and that he's waiting for him, and then that's when CM Punk comes out. Now, if for this to happen, since there are five matches already on the card, there's probably going to be uh, a shorter match. Like one of the one or maybe two of the matches are probably going to be trimmed down for this to happen because that means they would have to have six matches. So some of the matches are probably going to be trimmed then. Um, but it's really the only way. And for anybody that's saying that, oh, uh, you know, if, if Punk doesn't show up, it's a major disappointment. Um, yeah, it would be a disappointment. But the thing is, you know, I don't think it's totally out of the water for people to be pissed at WWE. Uh, because WWE did tease CM Punk. Like, I don't care what any of these quote unquote journalists say or anything like that. WWE... And even USA Network social media page were clearly blatantly teasing CM Punk. Like, I mean, it, it is blatantly obvious. So CM Punk not showing up, while probably for me won't be surprising because of the bad blood the two companies have had, um, or because of the two sides, because of WWE and CM Punk. It doesn't it 
it would obviously it wouldn't surprise me, but it's not totally out of the left field. I can completely understand why people would be mad and upset if Punk doesn't show up because WWE did tease it and it's not totally out of the left field because they did the same shit to Cody Rhodes. People seem to, I guess, forget that Cody Rhodes, when he came back, nobody knew he was coming back. Like, the dirt sheets didn't know. Like people were trying to tease that, oh, he might be going back to Ring of, uh, going back to AEW for Ring of Honor or something like that. Nobody knew. Okay, no one truly knew that Cody was definitively coming back or, or was com- was was going to WWE again, returning to WWE. Nobody knew that for sure. Nobody knew that for sure. And they they did little teases here and there. Um. And then ultimately he showed up and took on Seth Rollins in an open challenge match at WrestleMania. They could easily do the same thing with CM Punk and have him go up against Shinsuke, you know. Uh, Now, Shinsuke hasn't advertised that, you know, he is going to do an open challenge at Survivor Series. Uh, That would be the one concern is, like, is he just going to do it right at the pay-per-view? Um you know what I'm saying? That that might be the one thing. Is like, is he just gonna do it right at the pay per view, or he's just gonna come out and be like, "I want to wrestle somebody. I know you're here. I've been waiting for you," uh, or something like that. And then he comes out. Some people are trying to say that that he he's talking about Okada. No, he's not. Okay, he's not. He GTS. Uh, he GTS. Freaking. Uh, Shinsuke GTS uh, GTS two straight weeks. He was they, they, he's they're clearly talking about CM Punk, unless they're talking about the guy I forget what his name is, but that guy who invented the GTS, um, uh, that hates CM Punk because he took his move. <laughs> uh, I don't remember his name. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's his. Yeah, it, it is his move. Punk credited him on the on the documentary DVD, by the way. So I don't know why he's salty as fuck about it. Uh, especially since, um, what is it? Um, especially since, even though he created the move, he's dangerous with the move. He he injured Brian Kendrick's face with that move. He injured. Yeah, that's another thing. That guy who created the GTS. He injured Brian Ke- uh, Brian Kendrick's face with it, like literally, like he could. He seriously injured him with that move. He's he's he he's not good with that move, um, you know. Even though he invented it, you know. I was like pointing that out to people. I'm like, yeah, he may have created it, but he's very dangerous with the move. You know, he's very dangerous with the move. He injured somebody's fucking face, you know, with it because he didn't do it right. Um. Yeah, I don't remember his name. I don't feel like looking it up right now. Uh, but anyways, CM Punk um, comes back. Obviously, going to be stoked. If he doesn't come back, I'll be upset, but it won't surprise me that much because obviously, as I said in my short video, YouTube short video, a couple days after uh, Punk had gotten fired by AEW, wrongfully, by the way, um, by Tony Khan, um, I had said it was highly unlikely he was coming back to WWE. I said that. I said that before really anybody like jumped on this whole train of him coming back in Survivor Series. You know, I, I, I'm obviously finally on board with it because I want him to come back. But at the same time, I can understand if he doesn't come back, you know, because of the bad blood. And obviously, WWE has bad blood with him. Punk has bad blood with him. Um, so, it's going to be a tough sell. Uh, hopefully, all works out. Hopefully, the night after Survivor Series, we are excited. Because I'm telling you right now, if he shows up at uh, Survivor Series... You know shit's going to happen. You know I'm going to be talking about it. You're going to know I'm going to be talking about it more than Goku versus Superman because that's the biggest topic right now we're talking about on this channel so far. But that's going to just come down when the if we get the uh, CM Punk return. 
That's probably the only thing that can really top this whole freaking st stupid Goku vs. Superman 3 thing. <laughs> is if CM Punk shows up. Is C CM Punk shows up, then everything is all freaking right. <laughs> everything is all right. <laughs> that, that's the only person. That is that is the only thing that can happen right now that can freaking really overshadow this whole Goku vs. Superman thing right now. I think. Um... Because that, because CM Punk returning will break the internet. CM Punk returning to the WWE will break the internet. That will freaking break the internet. Like, that will totally top Goku vs. Superman's hype right now. Um, that's what everyone will be talking about. So, uh, at least in the wrestling community. Um, but yeah. Yeah, guys. Um,. Best in the world. I hope CM Punk comes back, guys. That's all I can really say. Make sure to comment, rate, uh, hit the subscribe button for all the latest content and notification bell. Thank you. And uh, that's about it, guys. I am the SS Ultimate Goku. I'm out of here. Peace. Also, make sure to follow me on the YouTube, SS Ultimate Goku, Twitch, the SS Ultimate Goku, Instagram, the SS uh, Ultimate Goku. Also, I do have a Discord link in the description where we talk about anime, English dubs, cartoons, live action TV series, live action shows, um, NFL football, AEW and WWE content, uh, discussions, all that good stuff. And now I'm out. Peace.